But tell me a little about, uh, tell me something about um, the, the sort of monitoring process that you go through with the, with the company to make sure it's on track. Um, well, there's there's no simple way of doing it. I think, and it, it's taken over the 12 years of, of operating, we're constantly looking at things in, in a different way. Um, I think there's, as just to sort of not completely bore you with the technicalities of a travel company, but there's two ways that we can recognise our, our income. One is by the departure date, which means that you might make a sale today, call it a, say it's a £5,000 trip, but the trip's leaving in uh, August next year, then you actually should recognise that money then. But obviously it's still relevant to your sales guy that they've landed a £5,000 sale. So we're, we're sort of finding that we've parted and evaluated things in, in two different ways. Um, so I suppose there's, there's a number of things. The financial side of it obviously is strong. Sales are really important to make sure that you're hitting, hitting the sales targets, but also making sure that you're making the margin on that and understanding the costs. Um, that was certainly a, a failure, a shortfall that, that we did, that straight, you know, initially just looking, just looking at the sales numbers, looking at that top line, um, and not spending enough time working out the, the cost, because actually that requires a bit more process, it requires bookkeeping, probably understanding the bank statement, seeing what costs have gone where, and actually has the thing we sold made any money, and has it made enough, and have you got enough money to pay people and manage your cash flow. Um, so, on a, on a sort of on a monthly basis, the things that I look at, I look at a, a, a financial PNL. I look at the sales that we made this month. Um, I look at the total sales for the year. Compare that to the, the sales from the year before, and obviously compare that against against the costs as well. Um, so those are a few of those kind of key performance indicators that we have. Um, and then we can get a bit more, bit more technical with that as well. We've been able to advance them more as, as we've grown. Um, at the end of every trip, we'll do uh, customer feedback forms, um, and these are you know coming in all the time now. And the main thing actually we look at on that is um, what's it called the Net Promoter Score. Out of ten, would you recommend this product to a friend or family member? Would you recommend this company? to a friend or family member, and we really recommend this, this country, this location, to a friend or family member. And those three things actually tell you a lot. Um, and it's nine of, if they get nine, give nine or ten out of ten, they're a promoter, and we're just fine, that's great. And they say that the sort of theory is that uh, seven or eight, they're passive, and they're, yeah. um, six, five, four, three, three, one, they're a detractor. Um, so as long as we're hitting constantly nine and tens, and maybe the odd eight, maybe the odd seven, if there's an issue that you know about, but predominantly up to that level, you kind of know that the vibes are good on, on the course because then that word of mouth is going to encourage more bookings. Um, and then, so that's from a customer perspective. There's obviously web traffic. You know, are, are you getting hits to your website, and are those people that are going on your website? doing what we want them to do, are they downloading brochures, you know, if it was an online shop, are they, are they spending money? Um, and, then, and then also the social media side, what's your engagement being, are people liking your photos or posts that you're putting up? Um, so there's obviously that side to look at. And then on a six month basis, we'll do staff reviews, make sure that the staff are happy and, um, you know, there's Come on, it's, a constant, it's a constant cycle and there's a lot of things to look at and they come around quickly um, and this is why as, as the company gets, gets bigger and you sort of find yourself less involved in the actual day-to-day -day operations because you need to be assessing all those kind of key points as you go along because um, you're really focusing on them, hopefully the business should be performing better and it's having that ability to spot a problem and, and spin it around. You know, we've had years where um, we haven't made as much money as we thought we were going to make, or maybe made an unexpected loss, and it's been a surprise. And you just have got to realise quickly then why? Why did we not know that? What could we do next year to do that? And actually, the, the planning happens so so early. If you're suddenly going into the last three month, last last quarter, and you realise that you need to reduce your overheads by thirty percent, chances are you're not going to be able to do that once you've got a kind of because it's a bit of it, it's just a sort of train that's running on tracks, you know, that would involve 
firing people, cutting all marketing, you know, your office is going to cost a certain amount. So there was a time when, you know, we were very flexible with our costs. And that's how I think every business should start out, that you don't knock yourself into lease agreements, office rental, heavy staff costs, because you never know when the tap's going to run dry. You want to make sure that when the tap runs dry, you're... You don't go, you know, you're not really, you're running, you're not running out, and you can cut off all costs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but we run it through, you know, we've been through a pretty big 2008 recession. It us pretty hard, and at that point, we we fully had to lean up what we did um, and change the operation. Now we're back, and now we're in a situation where I think our our reach is probably quite effective, as um, you know, like. From a sort of financial, we could do what we do and spend a lot more money, but we could probably do what we do and spend less money as well. So you never quite get it right. Yeah.